blades. I'm about to check out this car. See if uh, it's something that I want to get. So, uh, this is a terrible intro to the video of the week, but I'll explain more later. Talk to you guys later. This might be the car that I'm going to buy. I don't know. Kind of up in the air about it, but I already spent. Well, I'll explain it later, but does it look familiar, people? These aren't hot, unless they have it backwards. I may have accidentally closed it. Oh, here's some more. It's a 2006 version of what my brother has. So, this is what's going on. I was looking at buying a Chrysler 300C, a 2006 Chrysler 300C. Uh, so we went to go check it out. Um, let me get some better light in here. There we go. Went to go check it out, uh, and it was garbage. Uh, the engine was a second-hand engine. Uh, so there was no way to tell just how many miles were on that engine. Uh, it was dented, it looked like crap, apparently the battery was, like, not the right battery, so it was causing, like, this weird egg-like sulfur smell, and my brother was like, oh, man, that's, that shit's dangerous, dude, we ain't, we can't fucking try to jump that, it's wrong battery anyways. Uh, the chick was a little shady with the amount of information she was providing, uh, yeah, it was only going to be $1,300, but it was $1,300 plus, you know, however much money, five to eight grand that I would have had to put in it to get it back up and running. And so I was like, nah, because I could uh, I could buy a uh, second hand, just like what my brother has from a dealer for a about the same price and it I would get it in perfect condition uh, or near, you know. So yeah, we passed on that offer. What? Five one uh, five one dollar bills waiting for you. All you have to do is eat the octopus. You gotta eat it. You gotta, I want you to eat it. I'll give you five. Where'd your eyebrows go, Gabe? It's like your eyebrows disappeared. No, just habanero. No, there's not. I took it all off. Either you eat it or you don't. Just eat it. I'm actually going to get another food and I'm going to eat it at the same time. I got a piece of fruit right here. So go ahead and eat that and then eat this. The melon. So at the same time. No, just eat eat the one, eat the squid first, and then eat that. So you can made a good part. Save the best for last. Okay. This took me a while when I first did this. T t t today, Junior. The world is waiting. <sighs> Armageddon's on its way. Gabe, yeah, come on, man. Quit playing with it and eat it. You got all of it off. Cut you a little piece. It's okay, Bubba. Put it right there. How do you feel now, brother? 
Meet your son. You it got me to feel bad already. Yeah. All right, you earned it. Well, peeps, here we are again at the car that my brother's debating whether I should buy or not. Uh, here's that dent I was talking about. Apparently this whole thing will have to be replaced. Yep. Just this. Just yeah, that. this whole part right here. Which is easy to do. It's not even difficult. Then I'll have to repaint it. Because well, you'll probably get one with the... It's already the same paint. But this has some fucking weird pinstriping shit on it. I'd take that shit off. You just take a heat gun and go over it and swing it come right off. And this thing's straight. like super dirty. I thought that was the battery. Yes. Oh, that's what you said I should take off that thing in your hand? That's the correct engine, so. It just needs to be clean. Seriously clean so it looks nice again, huh? Probably will end up having to take it off or all apart and rebuild the whole damn thing. There. Shine your light in there. You gotta look down in there. That's just dirty. They just put regular water in it. Yep. This is hurry, guys. I know why one headlight looks all like light. Not frothy, so. What is it supposed to smell like? Like oil, not gas or uh, coolant. Well, we'll see what happens. Definitely needs to get clean. Does it? Dang. Alright, so, uh, the chick flaked out on us, so we didn't end up, uh, we said fuck that, we're not good. It's like a small army. <laughs> uh, so we decided not to get that damn car. It was trashy anyways. Yeah. It flaked out on us, right brother? Yep. We got her down to six hundred dollars though before she flaked out. She was like, "Yeah," and then nope. Now we're at Walmart. What's up, little guy? What's up, little Ruger? Yeah. Who's a cute puppy? Hmm. Vlog time, people. Check it out. I got some new collectibles today. Well, since I didn't get the car yesterday, you guys, I ended up deciding, well, I'm going to take that money and I will uh, I will get some cool collectibles because I haven't purchased any for myself for a while, especially these kinds of collectibles. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our little tour. Uh, I, I got my, my brother something, too. I'm going to show you guys that at the end. But look at that. Old Man Logan. You, if you guys know anything about me, I am an X-Men fan through and through. Uh, far more than I am... Uh, of any other Marvel series, X-Men all the way, man. I have a uh, limited edition, like, X-Men comics. I have the X, the 90s X-Men number one. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus for me. There we go. Uh, I don't have too many other X-Men collectibles. I was gonna get a Zelda potion bottle that, uh, it was pretty big. It's about as big as this, I would say. Uh, and it would change, it's about as big as a statue. Uh, and it would change colors if you tap it, or you could have it just slowly rotate. Look at the detail on this guy. I haven't decided whether I'll keep it in the box, only because from where I bought it, it was already on the display outside of the box. And this was the last one they had. But it's got Iron Man's armor all busted up, and uh, that's Captain America's shield messed up on the back, because uh, this is from the alternate universe where... Wolverine was tricked into killing all the superheroes, I believe. Or at least all the X-Men. Let's look. 
think it says it on the back. I remember reading the comics. In an alternate future, the supervillains of North America unite to wipe out its heroes, and an illusion cast by Mysterio causes Logan to mistakenly slaughter his fellow X-Men. Tormented by his actions, Logan settles down to a quiet life in a region controlled by the mutant banner, mutated Banner family. But money troubles and Banner's aggression lead him to pop his claws once again. When multiple realities are merged in the secret war, Logan finds himself in an alternate past where everyone he killed is still alive and well, and he decides to take extreme steps to protect his new life as a member of the Extraordinary, extraordinary X-Men. And then we got... Oh, cool. What'd you get? And we are back with Phoenix, Jean Grey. Uh, I was debating... Uh, like I said, I was going to get the Zelda Potion bottle... But I decided to get this instead. Because, you know, I like the Phoenix. And she is really cool. She's one of my favorite X-Men characters. I don't know where they have the picture on the side. Or the window. On okay, they have a window on this side, too. But, you guys know me. I like Phoenixes. Especially the Phoenix. Really not a lot to say. Just showing off its quality. This I probably won't take out of the box. I don't know, man. I don't like taking stuff out of the box because, like I said, I'm a collector. There we go. Finally got it to focus. Uh, and it's not like I'm going to play with them. But, I mean, I have a few other things that aren't in box like that. But then again, I also bought them out of box, so I opened the Star Trek thing because it looked better out of the box. And... The Halo stuff. But, uh... Yeah, dude. And then I got this little Metallics figure. Uh, mostly just because I wanted a little Power Ranger figure. You know, they're kind of cool. So, and I, I wanted the Green Ranger, but they didn't have the Green Ranger. So I settled with the white. Close enough, right? I don't even know if they have the Green Ranger, like, to buy. Let's see. Oh, they do. Of course I didn't find it. I almost, uh, a few years ago, if you guys remember, if you were watching back then, I actually almost bought a full replica of this helmet, the White Ranger helmet, and the Red Ranger helmet. Like, full-size, uh, scale replicas uh, that were fully functional and everything. They probably would have worked great as, like, motorcycle helmets, too. But they are about $300 a piece. I also was going to get the, uh, the, uh... Predator helmets, but I decided against that. Now, uh, oh, one other thing I got. I got this for free. It's a Shadow of War. Uh, the hammer that made the rings. Bottle opener. And I got this. Can't really uh, make it out very well. I should probably turn off the light. I'm probably going to keep that year-round on my little display just because it's an infinity mirror. Like, I might someday open that and take the uh, face out of it. I don't know, though. I like infinity mirrors. And I bought a candle and some lighters that I needed. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got my brother. And here we are. I bought my brother that for his birthday uh, a few months ago. And I got this as an early Christmas gift to my brother. I got him Lucille. Because he's always talking about being Negan. And uh, I know he really loves this character, Negan, from The Walking Dead. And so I decided, I saw that and I was like, oh man, I'm going to get that for my brother. I think he'd really love that. And so, there you go. I got it for my bro. I got my dad a Red Power Ranger pop vinyl too. But anyways, you guys... This will be it for this clip. See you later. What's up, guys? You know what? I decided to uh, do a little clip showing my completely uh, redone display cabinet, I guess, of my collectibles. And I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, so, here we are. Let me go ahead and see if I can get us a better view. That's not bad, right? Alright, so you check it out, dude. I decided to take a couple things 
out of the box, their boxes, um, such as, obviously, the Destiny characters. And I managed to get their little ghosts to uh, be by them, too. <laughs> okay, see, I don't know how well you guys can make that out. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little. See, I've got all their little ghosts to uh, be right next to them as well. Now, the reason I decided to take them out is because why not? <laughs> I also took the uh, the X-Men stuff. I made a little X-Men area for all uh, my X-Men related memorabilia. Let me see if I can stabilize our lighting here and make it look better. There we go. There we go. Took some of the comics I had and arranged them for a co for a little dramatic effect around the uh, around the characters. They look pretty good, if you ask me. I gotta change this. There we go. I really like the Phoenix statue. They're both pretty cool, if you ask me. I also took a uh, whole bunch of the 90s Series 1, no, Series 2, I think, uh, Marvel collection that I had of all the cards. I have the complete series or the complete set, and I used them as, like, filler for the bottom. And then I created a video game section with all my game-related uh Memorabilia, not all, but you know, just some stuff. Then I got my Zelda section. I guess I technically should have had the uh, gold collector's edition of Zelda over in the Zelda section, huh? And I, I also took a bunch of stuff out. And I obviously added another row of lighting to light up, to effectively light up the uh, case a lot better. I mean, this is what it used to look like before without the new row of lighting. There, let me, uh, problem with the IR sensors. There you go. That's what it used to look like before. That's all I used to have. It was dark, washed out, not even, not even the right colors. And this is now. Here, I'll do rotating colors for all of them, I guess, right? Here we go. That's kind of cool, actually, huh? Oh, yeah. Time for a seizure. I love how I could just select each section, whatever section I want going. Looks like it's a prize cabinet, doesn't it? Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, hope you like it. Thanks. Josh out. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the final clip of the week, more than likely. Uh, it is Saturday. All I do is work tomorrow night, too. Uh, I want to tell you about a few things I did and got and what's going on, right? So let's start off by... I got my PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, there's my toothbrush sitting on top of it. Uh, <laughs> I got my PlayStation 4 Pro. So, yeah, yep, yeah, set that all up. I've been playing a lot of South Park, the Stick of Truth. Or not the Stick of Truth, the Fractured Butthole. Uh, that's a pretty good game. I also have been playing a lot of Injustice 2. But uh, I've grown a little bored of Injustice 2. Because, I mean... It's no fun playing a fighting game by yourself all the time. And whenever you do play a fighting game online, it's like you're just playing against a bunch of gods. So what's the point of playing? Because you're never going to win. And if you do, it's just my luck. That's how it is for me, at least. It's no fun. 
But uh, that's why I fight. That's why I don't typically buy fighting games. Uh, and if I do, it's just more fun for me to play against a buddy or two. I got a call from David uh, yesterday. Uh, he may be looking to move back out here because I guess there's some family things or something going on there. So that's kind of cool for me. Kind of a bummer for him. You guys hear that? I'm not sure if that's just a fire or a, a fire truck or if that's the sirens for like tornado. I'll be right back guys. God look into this. Sounds like the tornado sirens. Well, I also ordered, wow, I also ordered another statue for the, uh, for my collection, Spider-Gwen. I'll show that to you guys probably in a few days when I get it. My, depending on when I get it, I might show it to you guys here or I might show it to you at the house. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything really else to tell you about. That's really all there is. Just been working otherwise. Uh, put some money down on my TV fund to replace my TV. Because on the 30th, my brother's going to be taking the TV. Well, probably sooner now. Probably on the 29th. Uh, and giving it to somebody else. But, uh, so I have to figure that one out. I'm trying to save up about $1,600 by Black Friday. And then hopefully I can get the TV I was intending on getting much earlier. Uh, um, sooner. So, yeah. I'm still distracted by the sounds of the siren. But I haven't heard them for a minute or two now. And it's not actually raining that bad out there. I mean, it's rained a lot worse, but if there is a tornado, it doesn't necessarily mean there has to be lots of rain, so... Anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to make this the end of it. Thank you for watching. Keep on uh, keep on watching for more new videos. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Josh out.